Hi guys, I thought I'd show you um, <clears throat> a new radio I've got, which is the uh, Bofeng or Sonic GT3 WP, um, which is here. This came in the post the other day, and uh, it's a really nice radio. So I thought I'd um, I thought I'd just uh, show it on here um, and uh, sort of do a quick quick review. Um, so this is the box. I'm not going to do an unboxing because um, they're pretty standard what comes in the box with these, but. This is the box um, that the radio comes in, um, and uh, it's quite uh, quite nice. The WP stands for waterproof, um, which I'll come to in a little while. And you can see on the uh, on the front there, it's got tricolour display, um, digital signal processing system, which I think just means it's a software defined radio inside. Emergency alarm, um, FM radio, and a flashlight. Um, all pretty standard stuff, but the um, the one, uh, the one that's attracting quite a lot of people on this is the IP67 uh, rating, um, so it's waterproof and shockproof. So, um, so yeah, um, there's some uh, some information there. Designed by Sony Sonic in the USA, and made in China. Sorry, the lights awful in this room. That's why the video is pretty grainy. Um, so apologies on that one. Uh, on the back, it runs through the uh, the features. Not sure if you can see that. So it's. Um, IP67 waterproof and dustproof. It's VHF 136 to 174 MHz and UHF 400 to 520 MHz. Dual band and dual display. Dual standby selectable. 128 memory channels. Tricolor background. Um, so it's the purple, blue, and orange. 65 to 108 MHz FM radio. Um, high and low power selection. It actually has three power settings, um, which I'll go through in a minute. Um, Vox function, timeout timer and 50 CT CSS and 104 DCS codes. Um, in the package is the uh, the radio itself, the car charger, lithium ion battery, dual band antenna, user manual, power adapter, desktop charger, belt clip and the hand strap. So, um, so that's the box, quite, um, quite nice, I think the packaging has moved forward um, with, uh, with these radios, so, so yeah. So this is the radio itself. Um, I've put a protective screen on that made out of an iPad screen protector just to stop it from getting scratched. Um, when it arrived, there were there was light scratches on the screen, um, which is a shame. Um, just very light scratches, you know, where sort of that plastic that if you touch it with your finger, it'll it'll make very light scratches. So that was a bit of a shame. But this is the uh, the radio itself. Um, so um, you can see the keypad; it's nice and colourful. Um, it's got the display there. Um, this is quite um, quite interesting. If I can just get my screwdriver. I'll show you this. It's a waterproof um, bracket, like a dust cap that protects the speaker mic, uh, where the speaker mic goes on. And if you unscrew the side and take that off, you can um, you can put the mic on, and it's quite different. It's like the Motorola style, so that that little uh, little panel there just clips in there, presses down, and then it screws down into place. Um, I'll show you the, um, the speaker mic in a, in a minute. Um, so that just that just screws on. I've just hand tightened that for now. Uh, on the top, you've got like a guard here that protects the volume knob a bit bit, bit better if it was dropped, um, which is quite. Um, quite different than the UV82 um, which is this is similar to you've got your emergency alarm um, button on the top transmit and receive button uh, sort of LED and your flashlight which is there the battery pack goes on I can show you that the battery pack how this comes off now. The battery comes off like that. You can see inside the, the label and the information on the battery there. So um, 1800 milliamp hour battery, um, 7.4 volts lithium ion, quite a chunky battery as well. Um, I'd question how waterproof that actually was really because there's no rubber gasket in there but I have seen videos of someone submersing it in water and it does um, 
it does survive but I've also read, read reviews people saying it theirs hasn't fared up in, in water so well so that's the um, that's the radio you've got your flashlight and monitor button your panic alarm button and the PTT there's two buttons for panic alarm um, but I mean that one's programmable these two are programmable anyway so there's the um, there's the radio itself so what comes in the box you've got your manual um, quite a decent manual actually it's um, good English it tells you how to use it but if you don't know how to use a Bofeng by now then um, then God help you you've got the um, you got the charging base there which is quite chunky um, the power adapter goes into the top there uh, like that it just plugs in there's a thing for mounting it there I don't know why you'd where you'd mount that so you need to stop it from coming away from a wall or whatever so that's the uh, power and um, the charging base there you've got a car cigarette lead which plugs into your base so you can charge it if you're mobile in the car software CD you are going to need this this doesn't work in chirp it doesn't program in chirp um, so that's got your uh, programming software on there it's just as easy, easy to use as chirp really um, so don't chuck that in the bin I'm guilty guilty for doing that myself you've got oops, you've got the programming cable there now that bang you heard there is the screw that fastens it in it doesn't you would think it'd have a thing that keeps it in there but it doesn't so beware because you'll end up losing that screw um, and as you can see there's a little um, little pins there which uh, touch onto them pads and you program the uh, the radio through that um, I had a bit of a nightmare getting this going I had to I had to downgrade downgrade my version of um, the driver the prolific driver um, to get that to work so that's just one to watch out for here you've got the earpiece which again has got pins on and a rubber seal in there to stop stop water getting in and um, earpiece so yep, I never use them anyway I was going to get a microphone but they're like uh, six or seven quid for a, a microphone I never use them anyway so so yep so that's that's what's in the box so uh, quite a nice radio the GT3 um, you would think would be would be similar but it's it's actually not there's the uh, there's the GT3 there um, if I just zoom in a little bit there's uh, there's the GT3 um, the radio is actually related to the um, UV82 as you can see they're a lot um, a lot similar in style um, these two doesn't have the dual PTT but um, it's very similar very similar in style um, the uh, the two radios uh, sorry the GT3 to the UV82 the very very similar radios um, so yeah so that's what's um, that's what's in the uh, in the box and what the radio looks like um, the case on this is really rugged um, very very rugged I just see my car again um, it's a lot chunky it feels like if you drop it it's not going to break and I've actually I've forgotten something um, I've forgotten something I needed to show you you may notice the belt clip is different on this radio if you can uh, if you can make that out the belt clips different it actually uh, clips onto your your belt and the radio actually drops in like that so that clips onto your belt there and your radio drops in and out of it if that clicks into place it's hard to get off so again that's uh, there's no release mechanism on it you have to get a screwdriver in there to sort of pry it open but um, that's the um, that's the belt clip there so again quite good for getting the radio on and off your belt you just pull it in and out of that little holster so, um, so there's the two radios side by side um, the battery um, as I say doesn't have a rubber gasket so I'd question how waterproof that actually is um, the there is videos online of someone dipping this radio into water and it does survive but like I say I've also read reviews where it doesn't uh, doesn't fare up so well um, let's see if we can get some better light here it doesn't fare up so uh, so well so I won't be uh, water testing it for today um, guys definitely not um, the um, 
power, as I said, is, is a tri-power radio, but um, it isn't 8 watts. The low power is 1.3 um, to 2 watts, Med depending on the band. Medium power is 2.8 to 3.8 watts, depending on the band. And high is 4.3 to 4.5 watts, again, depending on, on which band you're using. So um, that's just one to watch out for. Um, antenna on the radio seems pretty good. It's a bit shorter than the UV82 one, um, but it does work well. Um, I've not, had no issues with this uh, with using this stock antenna whatsoever. Um, it, it does uh, does work quite well. Um, the um, the programming, um, like I said, is easy to do. The software is okay. Um, you program it exactly the same as Chirp. You can name your channels um, like that. You can. Uh, you can name your channels just uh, just the same, and um, the programming software does does exactly the same as um, as Chirp. It's just probably not as user friendly, um, I don't think, but it uh, it does work. It took me ages to get it going, as I've already said, um, but the software is available online if yours doesn't come with a CD. So um, so yeah, there's another video I've I've just done um, showing this radio receiving does receive well. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see if we can. Uh, I haven't got an antenna set up. I was going to plug this into the um, external antenna and see if anything's about. Um, but I'm uh, I'm really happy with it. Uh, quite happy with it. I think it's uh, nice. I wouldn't be um, I wouldn't be too worried if I dropped it. A because I think it would survive, and B because it's got a good um, a good price. You could easily replace this. No uh, no problem. Um, so let me just plug this into an antenna and see uh, see if anything's going on. So yeah, there's um, there's a bit of a show and um, a review, if you can call it that, of the uh, the Bofeng GT3WP. Um, I'm not not amazing at reviews. It works works very well. Um, no issues whatsoever with it. Um, very very happy with it. And um, looks nice alongside the UV82 as well. So um, so yeah, if you um, if you enjoyed this, drop us a subscription or a like or a comment. Any suggestions, any feedback um, of how can uh, how can make these videos better? Uh, anything else I've missed? Anything you want to know? Uh, or any suggestions on uh, on future videos? Just just drop me a comment. Let me know. Always always welcome feedback. Uh, and as usual, thanks very much for watching. Seven three for now.